Take a look at this tier list real quick. You don't see anything wrong with it? No? Well, it's wrong, because I don't agree with it. Let me fix it up a little bit. And anything I make for tier list wise is awesome, because I'm based. That, that's a good tier list. Yeah, that's that's a good tier list. At the end of the day, this is nothing new. Debating over topics and what we feel about them isn't a new thing. I mean, Caveman back in the day probably had tier lists about which is the best dinosaur meat to eat. Recent times, we have tier lists that describe memes or popular music, for example. Oftentimes, the more people that agree with the tier list, the more true it must be. And we can dive into the whole debacle of opinion versus true fact and, and all that stuff. But let's start with the foreplay. Let's hop into some Street Fighter. Now, the real reason I started this video is I saw a tier list from Punk, who's recently been in Japan and Korea, traveling he did an amazing job at the 33 event for the career Rivals event after these events punk put out a tier list on the nl stream and people didn't agree i mean come on it's reddit what are you, are you really surprised you could post that you overcome a terminal illness on am i asshole and someone will respond yeah now disclaimer this is not to flame people that i saw commenting on this post i'm gonna blur their names too because this video is not meant to be harassment or make fun of people more just expressing opinions of people who are brave enough to do so a lot of people have these opinions they just don't want to look like a silly billy on social media there seem to be a very common thing here i'm not saying they're all snake eye viewers and anything but but a few people that play geef said geef cannot be number one too many bad matchups he can't be number one or other comments said things like well just zone him just don't let Geef approach. One person even said that Geef is always free MMR for them. Well, I agree that the Geefs, they might be feeling a ranked are very good. They're not Snake Eyes, or it's Ibashi Sen Geef, or Kobayan. And I'd argue that if you played those people, you might have a bit of a different opinion. You see, when you're playing someone like Snake Eyes, or it's Ibashi Sen Geef, or Kobayan, they aren't really gonna get zoned out the whole time. We saw this with Snake Eyes when he was fighting JP, who was definitely the strongest character this time, and he walked him down. Can't keep a good farm boy down. At the end of the day, we are playing a 2D fighter. This isn't a platformer. You can't run around for 20 minutes. I mean, we've seen the horrific effects of that that has feels mental now, I hate to say it, it looks like oh the poor souls how they sit and suffer how they lay down their life luckily we're in 2d fighter and zoning does work for a while but there is a timer on the clock and i mean i'd make a pretty good bet that the key player is a lot more experience getting zoned than you have zoning him I mean, for example i have 15,000 matches in street fighter i love this game i have thousands of matches played but out of those it's only like 201 sim games. If you were to ask me my opinion on Dalsam in a tier list, I'd say he's probably pretty low. Sure, I haven't won a lot, but I chalked it up to me just not winning the matchup. Put me up against Mr. Crimson, I'd be singing a different tune, I'm not gonna lie to you. I might even say, Sim must be top 10. And you see how personal bias plays a huge role in what you think about the game. And this isn't just Street Fighter 6, don't worry. I had to look back at the older games because I'll be honest, this is my first game. I'm new to the scene. Look back at Street Fighter 5, for example, a tier list made by someone like Mena, RD. The Mr. Two-Time, Two-Time Champion. Not to be confused with Dr. Disrespect. He's a bad person and also a <gasps> But yeah, no, Mr. Capcom, Two-Time Champion. He made a tier list about Street Fighter 5, and surely someone with that amount of experience and knowledge about the game, surely he has a really good understanding of what would make good characters, right? Well, no, people don't agree. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, no matter how experienced you have, people aren't gonna agree with the tier list all the time. Matter of fact, a game like this, where everyone has a different view of the game, hundreds of different characters to play over the history of the game it's never gonna be a perfect tier list but surely a game like third strike has everyone agreeing right well uh hmm all right this short video just explaining why tier lists are always going to be tough and not everyone's gonna agree with them and matter of fact most people are gonna be very passionately against what you make I mean, a lot of people are mad that Luke is being placed so low on Japanese tier list, but if you watch my last video right right here, very good video, you should watch. I worked hard on it. A lot of the Japanese players who were the top players have dropped Luke for somebody else. So that experience of Luke being oppressive and a good character still, probably more in the back mind of a lot of Japanese players. So they're more worried about the people prevalent, like Geef, Aki, Ken, Akuma, those characters that are gonna be fighting every single week. Ed, even, good God. I mean, Moji got combos that last longer than I do in bed. So, that's the video. Take what you will. Again, no hate that anyone on Reddit just using examples to show off some ideologies. The question becomes, should a reliability of a tier list be based on how popular they are, how many people agree with it, or is it the experience of the person that made the tier list? What are your qualifications for a tier list and what makes a good tier list? Personally, every tier list I make is the best because I'm the best and I'm never wrong, but each their own, I guess. Now we live in a society, of course, don't mind the shirt. I'm on a journey to find a cute goth girl, I, I think. But that's all for today. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, yeah. New video every Monday. I'll try my best.